welcome to chemistry concept now let's see that what is uh, the law of conservation of mass okay conservation of mass this law states that matter can neither be created nor destroyed okay only it can be transferred from uh, one form to another form and how is it applicable to chemistry that let's say uh, i have carbon reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide then as per uh, okay fine so you can see from this equation that one mole of carbon is reacting with two uh, or, or you can say one mole of oxygen molecule to form one mole carbon dioxide the mass of carbon is 12 gram mass of oxygen is 32 gram 12 plus 32 is equal to 44 gram which is the mass of product form so it was nothing i have taken 12 gram of carbon 32 gram of oxygen collectively 44 gram and after the completion of reaction i am getting 44 gram of carbon dioxide so nothing is lost nothing is gained the amount of total amount of reactants is equal to total amount of product this is nothing but law of conservation of mass now Mm, this is another example. Let's say uh, N two reacting with H two to form NH three. Now, what is the mass of nitrogen here? Twenty eight gram. Two gram. Is it so? Twenty eight gram is the mass of nitrogen. No, it's fourteen gram. Fine, and. 2 gram hydrogen giving 2 then then there are two nitrogen so it's to collectively 28 gram nitrogen 2 gram hydrogen and ammonia the mass of ammonia molecule is 17 gram here the total mass of reactant is 28 plus 2 that is 30 but the product formed is 17 gram so is it so that the equation does not satisfy the law of conservation of mass or law of conservation of mass is not correct no actually our equation is not correct we need to balance it so now you know the answer why do we need to balance a chemical equation we do it so as to fit it into our law of conservation of mass and how do we balance it here we put 2 and then 3 now you can see That the mass of nitrogen is twenty eight gram on the reactant side. Mass of hydrogen is now six grams. Collectively, thirty four gram. And the mass of ammonia formed is also two into seventeen. That is. 34 gram so why do we need to need to balance our chemical equation in order to fit it into law of conservation of mass because total mass of reactants must be equal to total mass of product form uh, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos of chemistry thank you